the Apple Glass is coming soon. Yeah, I've heard some rumors about this. I'm excited. Someone actually, they said, they, they listed it out in the comments, so I don't know how accurate it is. Apparently it's gonna be wireless and they're gonna be using the newest version of 60 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Wow. So, yeah, if anyone was concerned about MMWave 5G, just don't worry about that. You're literally gonna have zzz from your brain to your groin area. Oh my God. Go to a sperm bank right now, deposit it. <laughs> <laughs> Get your eggs frozen. I heard it's not that expensive at the moment when everyone's doing it. What they go up oh in price? Oh I don't know. Well, it's good. At least they're investing in the technology. So hopefully, you know, it will be good for the world. Actually, I'm, I'm going to break this open here. I say, app, some guy, some guy, really cool dude, sent me an email. I haven't replied back yet. I'm going to reply back. But he was saying he bought the new 13-inch MacBook Pro 2020. And ever since he started using it, he's been getting headaches. He actually went to the Apple store and he said, I don't know what's going on with this computer. It's making me get headaches and all this wow. stuff. I haven't had this experience on my MacBook Air. I've got the email. Really? And they told him, have you tried, they gave him a refund. Yeah, check this out. And they said, have you tried turning off Bluetooth? They said that to yeah. them? Yeah, he, he said, I have Wi-Fi turned off because I use Ethernet. And they said, have you tried turning off Bluetooth? And he was pretty much asking me, what has changed in the Bluetooth in my edition versus the new edition that could make it affect me so much because the Bluetooth in my old MacBook Air from 2011 mm. didn't affect me whatsoever. The Bluetooth in the 2020 MacBook Pro affects me. Wow. So pretty much the answer is, of course, you know, we have the new version of Bluetooth, the faster, more powerful, so it emits more EMF radiation. If you are sensitive to RF, which some people are, we, yeah. Well, I've, is there a legitimate? I mean, you're a doctor. So is there a legitimate test on this? There's no. Unfortunately, not. Unfortunately, there is no sensitivity test that we have in our power at the moment. At this current moment in time, we don't unfortunately have the ability to test for EMF sensitivity. Unfortunately, but things could change. But I want to ask you. So, did you ever follow up with that chapter? Did you ever ask him what happened when you turned off the Bluetooth? I'm or? gonna. So, so he he just returned his MacBook Pro. They gave him a refund, and then they suggested to him, "Have you tried?" disabling so, Bluetooth. But at, the, at that moment, he just refunded it. I'm gonna tell him the situation. Got it. What I need to find out is, is there a way I can control the amount of radiation coming out of the Bluetooth Bluetooth antenna? Because yeah. on some Wi-Fi routers, they give you a high power mode, medium power mode, and a low power mode. Potentially, could I set the Bluetooth to Bluetooth 3 rather than Bluetooth 4, rather mm -hmm. than Bluetooth Got 5 it. LE? Is there a way to tone down the radiation? I know that on MacBooks, on the left side, that's where the antenna is for the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth. On other laptops, for example, mm. I tested out, what was it? It was like a Razer. They had the Bluetooth on the right and the Wi-Fi on the left, so it kind of yeah. made the signal a bit less. What, what I find really interesting about that is that Apple actually advised him to turn off the Bluetooth. Yeah. So does that mean that Apple are aware that there is an issue with the Bluetooth and the radiation and EMF sensitivity then? That's what I'm kind of wondering. Are they aware of that? And is that something they're going to change then in the next products? Maybe? Well, I don't know. I don't know what the situation is. I'll, I'll inquire and yeah. say maybe it was just a shop assistant, their suggestion. I don't know if it's an official Apple policy. I know that Apple, they have such a big consumer base. So there has to be a number of people who are EMF sensitive. There has yeah. to be that they notice it. I don't know if it's a legit concern or regarding HQ and corporate, but if you're working in sales, mm. in Apple, I'm sure you're gonna meet some people, yeah. you're gonna hear some yeah, words, right. you're gonna figure out some stuff. Maybe some yeah. of them there, maybe some employees quit from the situation. Someone's gonna be in no. And that was a suggestion then given by a sales assistant working for Apple. Wow. So yeah, interesting wow, wow, developments wow. in that situation there. Nice. And this is your head inside this beanie hat. As you can see, it's now dropped to microwatt levels. And if you take the hat off, put it back on the phones, look at that shoots right up to milliwatts back again. So this hat does technically offer you protection against RF proven right here in the tests.